Hi, I'm just popping in from the future to welcome you to my weekly vlog and to address a couple questions that have been coming up in the comments. And I found myself exhausting myself by trying to answer every one of them. And so I thought, that's just so silly. I'll just put it at the beginning of the next vlog and I'll answer everybody's question all at once. Okay, the first question that came up was, why did I change the name of my channel? Prior, as you know, it was called Too Cute for Cancer. And that was given to me by my very best friend and my children. And it means that everyone is too cute, too good, too precious in God's sight to have cancer. That's what Too Cute for Cancer means. Okay, it doesn't mean that ugly people you're you're too good for cancer or it I don't know I got a bunch of really wonky definitions from people that misunderstood the true meaning it's a kind of what they call a tongue-in-cheek I guess so too cute for cancer I had that name I love that name my Instagram and my Facebook are still too cute for can cancer however my channel I've changed to my name Jody Wright because since my journey with cancer um, has evolved and I am not dealing with the ongoing issues like treatment and doctor's appointments as and bald and wigs and all that. You can still find all that at the beginning of my vlogs, but the channel just follows, I just vlog my life. And wherever my life goes, that's where the channel goes, because the channel is me. It's Jody. <laughs> so I figured by changing the name to Jody Wright, to my name, no matter what happens in this vlog, whether cancer comes back, um, or if it doesn't, no matter what, I'm staying Jody Wright. That's not going to change. So, no, if cancer comes back, I will not change it back to Too Cute for Cancer. It'll still be Jody Wright because the vlog, my channel, is about me and my experience with cancer, living with cancer, and beyond. Um, yes, I still have cancer. I'm not cured. There is no cure. So people who keep saying that I am lying because there is no cure for cancer and, you know, now you're cancer free. Okay, number one, you obviously didn't watch my vlogs because I didn't say I was cancer free. I'm, the scans are clear. They're clean. But I am only in remission. I am cancer for whatever reason I believe because of God and prayer of all the thousands of people out there um, in our community that have been praying for me along with a holistic healing plan and vitamin C and just a numerous numerous different factors I have been giving a break from cancer at this time I am feeling good but I am dealing with the after effects of you know the damage done to my body so yes cancer will always be in my vlogs because it is a part of me it's a part of my journey but right now I'm doing good and when people click see cancer to keep for cancer they click on and they expect not to see a clothing haul not to see family get-togethers or makeup tricks or whatever they expect to see usually chemotherapy the journey of that the you know the whole you know beginning of the journey I'm not at the beginning of my journey I'm at unfortunately the end of my journey I'm ongoing so that is what my channel is about so I would love it if you guys would journey join me on my journey and hit the subscribe button because basically it's a lifestyle channel and we're we're dealing with health wellness um organizing tips it's just a, all about lifestyle it's a lifestyle healthy lifestyle how to recuperate from uh, a chronic illness how to live with a chronic illness how to live with stress in your life I think after 20 plus years of dealing with cancer and living with it I've got some perspective on suffering um, the, the loss of my child I have a, 
a different type of understanding for anyone who is going through that. So I'm just here to support people, to inspire them to be the absolute very best in any situation that they are in, whether they are in bed and they can't get out, they're bedridden, they're sick, whether they have arthritis, if they have Crohn's disease, if they have lupus, if they have, I mean, the list goes on. Suffering is pretty much touches all families, whether you have cancer or not. And whether you're sick or not, you could be totally healthy. But I'm eating my hair. Life brings struggles, and we all experience it. So the goal of my channel right now and always is to support people in their lives and to give them hope that if I can live through cancer and all the suffering and everything I've gone through and still come out and feel like I have a life worth living, then you guys all can too. And that's my, that's my message. I want to share with people that hope is never lost. It's always, it's always there. It's just, we lose sight of it from time to time. So anyway, from now on, yes, there will be more fashion vlogs. There will be more, um, you know, makeup tutorials. I pretty much look down the comments and I pick out what you guys like and what you want. And I get a lot of comments about style, makeup, how do you keep your skin, you know, smooth, blah, 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 all of that. And then, my, like for example, this week, we're going to have next week, Friday, we are having a special guest uh, who has cancer and we're going to interview her. That came from um, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. She gave me that. Um, that idea for a, a show and so I made it happen so I'm listening to you guys and you know I'm trying to do my very best I'm not perfect and you know I do get hurt when people are mean to me I try to ignore the trolls and sometimes it does get to me it makes me feel like I don't want to look at my comments because I'm so afraid one's gonna rah, jump out at me <laughs> but um, you know, and I did get a comment saying, well, you know, uh, Jody just blocks anybody who doesn't agree with her or who is mean to her. Well, duh, of course I block you guys if you're mean to me. Why would I want to listen to that crap? Why would I want you to, why would I keep your comment there? You will be blocked if you're mean to me or anybody on my channel. If anybody is rude to each other, they will be blocked. That is just, that's my rule. This is a safe place where we all can come and we all can support each other in a positive way. Yes, we can have varying, you know, conversations and disagreements about what we believe or whatever, but do it in a respectful, kind way. But mean-spirited remarks will be deleted. They will not be allowed on my channel. And I, I make no apologies for that because I want people who are here for the right reasons to feel safe and to feel like this is a happy place they can come and feel supported, not a place where they have to feel nasty comments. I don't want any of you guys to leave this any of my videos or any of the comments and say, ooh, I don't want to leave a comment because there's so many trolls on that on that page or whatever. I mean, I have literally stopped following people because they have so much drama in the comments. So I do not want that to be my channel and our community because our community rocks. You guys make things happen by prayer and by positive thoughts and healing love that you guys give me and my mom and my family you guys you guys deserve the absolute best and that's what I want to do I want to be the absolute best person that I can be and bring you the absolute best content that I can bring um, because you guys all deserve that now with that said Jody from the future is jumping back in the future and let's do this Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, and today is kind of a chill day. Um, doing a little bit of housework because 
My maid was supposed to, or my housekeeper was supposed to come yesterday to clean the house for the party on Sunday, tomorrow. And she hurt her foot. Um, so she couldn't come and I'm like, ah, I just let everything go in the house just thinking, well, I'm going to pay to get it clean tomorrow. Why am I going to bother today, right? So I've been doing some cleaning and doing this bathroom sinks and just little stuff like that. And, um, yeah, so that's my day. That was my, sm my morning mostly, the early morning. And now, um, my husband's in the backyard trying to get all of the storm damage cleaned up so um, we can maybe salvage the party tomorrow. 30% chance rain tomorrow, so I don't know. Everybody might end up inside, which is going to be so crowded. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's what's going to happen. And right now, I have not been out of the house much and I'm getting a little bit of cabin fever, so I pulled my hair back in a bun. I don't know if you can see the back of it, but just a regular old bun. And I threw a white shirt on and put a little bit of jewelry on so I didn't look like I was, you know, um, wearing my night shirt out. I threw some jeans and sandals on and I'm going to go to um, Norsham's Rack. I am looking for a black a nice black purse because summertime is passing, fall is coming, and black goes with so much stuff. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. And I'm stopping off at Ulta because I want to get some NARS finishing powder. I got some translucent uh, NARS just to, just to test it out to see if I like it. And oh my gosh, I love it. It gives you an airbrush look like you you would not believe in love. In fact, I almost think I like it better. Sorry, Charlie. Sorry, Char Charlotte. <laughs> than my Charlotte Tilbury uh, airbrush finish. I don't know. It's a toss, but it is half the price, <laughs> so I think I think NARS might be winning. Anyway, so I'm going to pick it up in a uh, color because I got it in white, and sometimes it gives you a little bit of a, you know, too much white. So what I'm going to do is try to get it in like just a light color, just to warm up my face a little bit. Anyway, um, today I just put on my sun glow, my. Um, yeah, Super Goop Sun Glow. It's just uh, sunscreen with a, a tint and a little bit of glow. Put that on, and I just brushed a little bit of bronzer around my face. I put eyelash, some eyelash. Okay, now this is a good test. I am just got a very cool um, gift, and it is... Um, I'll have to show it to you guys later, but it is for your eyelashes to grow, like a serum. And my eyelashes right now, this is with like several coats of eyelash stuff and the white stuff underneath and curled. So that's my natural lashes. They aren't, they aren't doing too good. Anyway, so I'm going to start using that every night. Um, so I don't, you know, see what happens. I don't know, but today... This is it. Um, we can use this as the before so we can go back and look to see if it does any good. <laughs> I know everybody swears it does. So if you've used any kind of Lashify or anything like that in the past, drop me a comment and tell me if it worked. So I don't get my hopes up <laughs> if it doesn't work. All right, you guys, I'm going to take off and I'll bring you guys Alrighty, with Alrighty, I'm ready to go. And here is the outfit of the day which is just plain old ripped jeans. These are kind of cute though. They have like a um, pattern underneath them. So I kind of like them and they're very, very soft and stretchy. Love, love, love. Amazon fashion. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. Okay. Then I've got just my plain old white t-shirt tucked in and I'm looking for a black crossbody bag. Just like this one, except for black, because I've got black shoes and all I have is different colored 
purses, I don't have any um, any black. So that is the the what are you the goal for today? So you guys are going to come along and in spirit, you're going to help me pick out the right bag. All right, let's do this. Okay, so lighting's bad in here, I apologize. So look at all these purses. Too many decisions, too many decisions. And a couple choices that I like. This one here is Calvin Klein, but it's a nice, has gold, which I always wear. And it's black and it's brown. I don't know if you can see the coloring on the camera as well. But it's got this cool magnet. See, magnet that opens and closes there. Arr. And it's got enough room for my camera, phone, all the necessities. And I think it would go with just about everything. This one is more, just kind of more casual. It is lucky. It's got a place for the phone in the back, which I do love and then opens up and not as much room, but it is very nice soft leather. That one looks a little more fancy. And behind it here, I need a work bag to take all of my camera equipment in. And I found this one, Ted Baker. Um, it's nice, it's, you know, that thick, nice wearable, um, leather and a waterproof it with a waterproof spray and it will hold my computer my um, camera stands and everything so I kind of think I'm gonna get that and then I can't decide between these two so I don't know I wish you guys were here Okay, so I am, ah, I can see. <laughs> I am in line at Starbucks. I went to both my destinations and scored at both spots. I was so good, I went in, I got what I needed, and I got out. So now I am headed over um, to my son's house to meet uh, Zenya. Um, their newest baby, <laughs> their newest foster child. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait. Daisy, the other, Daisy and James and Brennan and Taylor, their other four are out um, shopping. I think Aaron wanted to get them some new clothes because they showed up with their clothes kind of not so good. A lot of stains on them and stuff. So um, yeah they were going shopping but my son kept the baby because Zinni is a little too small to go and they didn't have enough car seats um, I think to go with everybody so I'm headed over I'm getting him a um, Starbucks and myself a Starbucks yay <laughs> and headed over to meet my newest foster grandbaby and um, I think I don't know they're praying I don't know I think not sure that um, I know James is going back with his mommy and daddy, I'm pretty sure. They've shown up for each visit and they seem like they're really, you know, getting their crap together so they can have their son back. And they have a bond, which is amazing. So uh, as much as we love little James and we keep him in a heartbeat, you know, the goal is to get him with his uh, biological parents if possible and if it's safe. So James is probably going within time. Um, 
the other two that we don't know the backstory at all but I do know I'm pretty sure they want to adopt both of them so we'll be praying about it and if you guys would pray about it as well um, that would be amazing so anyway that's that's what my next step is for the day and I can't film there as you know um, because of uh, laws and all that kind of good stuff but when I can, I'll show you them all. <laughs> well, if we keep them all, you get to see them all. If we don't keep them, you know, uh, you'll just have to take my word that they are stinking adorable. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. I can see your love in your eyes. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. <gasps> I had to finish the song because I was in the car. I got out of the car and I had to finish. I cannot leave a song like that undone. My favorite song, I think one of them, Amazing Grace by Chris Tomlin. Okay, um, this is what I ended up getting. I got, now, okay. I have been using the Lash Serum, the Ordinary, not the Ordinary, it's the Lashify stuff. Not Lashify. Is it Lashify? Not Lash, I don't know. I think it's Lashify. Anyway, the Ordinary has a multi-peptides, um, let's see the English side, I can't see, Lash and Brow Serum. So it makes your lashes, it's supposed to be the same as the expensive kind that are like a hundred bucks and this was sixteen dollars so sorry the blower's going in the backyard my husband's trying to pick up storm mess anyway so I got this one by the ordinary and I'm gonna give it a try one eye I'm gonna do this one and the other eye I'm gonna use the Lashify and see which one wins I'm gonna look funny if they don't equal out <laughs> So I got that, and then this is the purse I settled on. I figured because um, I like gold, I always wear gold, I never wear, except for my wedding ring is white gold. But this is crossbody, and it's got like a magnet, I love it. Super easy, well, it's super easy to open when you're not, ah, the magnet sticks to everything, how funny. Okay, so it's, Super easy to open, no like, you know, hinges or anything like that to undo. It's got two pockets inside, which is really nice. And it's got enough room for everything that I would need. And it's got brown in it, cream and black. So I don't have to switch back and forth if I don't want. From black to brown, it goes with everything. I love multi, multi tasking items. I don't like to spend a lot of money for you know things that I don't need to spend the money on so this is good this is um, they are pro lash see those cute little let me show you oh, it's like so blurry hold on it is the lashes except for they're shorter and they're fluffier and they're curlier than the ones I bought and they're mink, so they're real hair, and they're really soft. So I got those, and uh, you get 72 lashes, and they're like 15 bucks. And I already have the glue, or the stuff to put it on with. Give those a whirl, haven't used them yet. We'll put them on tomorrow for the party or church. This is my light reflecting setting powder loose I got loose because that's my favorite and I got let me see if I can show you the color hold on I got it's hard to see the color but I've got this was the lightest color they have but the lady in there showed it to me after you like you know dust dust your brush in there and put it on it's not doesn't come out as dark as what it appears in the Thing. and I have the translucent so I figured I can mix the two together too and make sure it's not too dark and this was the color shore 
and they only had three colors so I wish they'd come out with some NARS if you're listening which I know you're not but if you are I would really like it if you could come out with more options for your trans your uh, setting powders anyway this is the absolute best setting powder I've ever used except for Charlotte Tilbury airbrush oh I love I love it but this is half the cost and you know what you get so much more in it so we shall see if it really holds up now comes my uh, Ted Baker um, bag this is not to carry for like purse this will go my computer and all of my equipment for um, my camera, my stands, all that kind of stuff can go inside of this and then I can just keep it in one spot and not all over the bathroom and the house. And it is um, kind of a burnt orange which I like because it is going to be fall or is fall as we speak. So anyway, that's what I ended up getting. And I don't know if you can see it in the in here, but it's got, oh yeah, you can. It's got cute little imprinted daisies or flowers all over it. So I really like that. And it's leather, it's super, super good. Of course, Ted Baker doesn't do anything bad. So anyway, I had to put a little bit more of a price tag on these two. But still, even though a little more than, you know, bottom of the line it still wasn't the top of the line that's for sure got them from Nordstrom racks and yeah all right so I had a pretty good day hi guys so um hold on I always forget to take off my glasses because I know they create a glare and the lighting is kind of iffy in here but um what I wanted to say <laughs> is I've been doing really good. I've been go, 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 do, do, do. But recently, now that I have um, been up and doing more and more, I found I found limits. <laughs> I have found that I cannot do what I think I can do. So today, when I went shopping, um, I decided that I was gonna park as far out and away from um, the store that because I needed to get my steps in right well I've been working out I've been working with weights and I've been doing treadmill and even through chemo I walked okay <laughs> I was a little over ambitious I would say I did fine getting to the store and getting my stuff. I walked to the second store and I was just great. And then I got a little bit tired and my spine started to really hurt. Um, so I thought, you know what? I better just go ahead and skip the next store because I've already got the two things that I came for and I don't want to be tempted into purchasing things that I do not need. All right. So I head back to the car and I get like halfway there and I think, did I park this far out? Because I didn't feel like it felt that far when I was walking to the store. So then I started thinking, hmm, I think I parked closer. I don't feel, I mean, I'm getting really tired and I'm in pain. I know I didn't park this far out. So I turn around. I start walking back. Then I got a little bit turned around in the parking lot and I couldn't remember where my car was. Chemo brain. So I started looking around and around. Well, do you know how many Hyundai Sonatas or Sonomas, Sonomas are out there? in the parking lot well just let me tell you a lot of them <laughs> and I'm like clicking my clicker I'm thinking hmm I know that I'm gonna hear a click somewhere and that's gonna be my car right no so then I went back to the store where I started and I started like calming down a little bit I was in so much pain by that time 
I was about ready to call my husband and say, come get me and help me find the dang car. That's how bad it, that's how lost I felt. I, I, I was. <laughs> Not just felt it, really was. So, I go back and I regroup, take a couple deep breaths and think, wait a minute, okay. Parked in front of the stairs and I remember I wanted to get extra steps so I went way out. And then I remembered, I saw Islands, the restaurant, like the parking lot, like two, like just right across the way from where I parked the car. And then I thought, okay, so Islands is way down there, the very, very end of the parking lot. <sighs> I just didn't go far enough, you know. So. There I go again. So I'm walking, carrying my bags, and stopping a couple times because my spine hurt. It was like a burning sensation. Finally, I get to my car. And I just didn't go far enough. And I got confused and whatever. But I made it home, as you can see. <laughs> Just the little things, you know? It's like, okay, I'm feeling so much better. I'm like doing so much better. But you know what? My body still has been through hell and back. And, you know, it, I just, it's not, it's not matching up with my brain. You know, my brain's saying, go, 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 do, do, do. But then my body's saying, ha, ha, hello over here, wait, you know? But I'll take the wins. You know, today was not a big win, but it was a little win. At least I did it and I didn't fall down. And now I'm resting and I took, I did have to take uh, Morphine 15, which I have not had to take in so long. I was really sad about it, but I thought, you know what, that's what it's there for. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. Oh my goodness, I turned orange. Okay, we're the sun and everything's moving around because I know the storm's coming in. Urgh. Anyway, I talked to my hospice nurse, my um, palliative care nurse, and I said, because she keeps checking in, and I'm like, don't need anything, don't need anything. And she's like, are you good? I'm like, I'm good, I don't need anything. And she goes, well, um, do you want to continue PT? I'm like, yeah, I do want to conti continue that because that helps. Um, I just, I'm like, really, I, I don't know. I just, I think I don't need this. And she told me, she says, you know what? You cannot use it if you don't need it. There is nothing that is forcing you to do it. But she said, and this kind of upset me, but I do know where she's coming from. Um, I know it's, it's true. <laughs> um, I don't like to think about it. But she said, when your cancer starts growing again, then you're going to need, you're going to need this. And she said, it's easier to just keep it in, keep it in place. And then if you don't use it, you don't use it. But then if you do need it, it's right there. And boom, you don't have to go through the whole process of trying to get it again. So, and I just told her, I said, I just feel really guilty for having you I mean, I'm having it because I don't feel like I need it. And she says, that's fine. We're totally happy that you don't need it. She says, that's wonderful. She says, we have many, many people that, you know, come out of remission or go into remission. And in some cases, they don't ever need us again. But she says, don't worry. She says, we got you. Don't worry about it. So I thought that was interesting. So now it's just like... Yeah, just interesting. Another note about hospice. Um, the doctor put my mom on hospice uh, so she could get um, more care uh, brought into the home for her and, and stuff. So that was really, really sad but good because she's not actually, she's not near death's door or anything. She's just at that point in life where there is no getting better. She just needs to be made comfortable. So, yeah. 
so that was she was really upset about it and I said mom I said trust me this is this is a good thing and she's like they just think I'm gonna die and they're gonna give up on me I'm like no 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 and then I told her I was able to share with her I'm like mom I have palliative care and I'm like are they giving up on me maybe but it doesn't matter what they think it's what we think and what we know it's what we know to be true I says we are not giving up on you the doctors don't even care what they think we care what we think so just refocus get it out of your mind move on so anyway just thought I'd share that all right I am going to um, I can feel the medicine starting to kick in a little bit so I'll probably take a nap and uh, get up and try to do a little bit more cleaning around the house I got 99% of it done but some of the stuff I want to do last minute before the party but now I'm like uh, I don't know maybe we should do it tonight and rest tomorrow I don't know right now I'm gonna rest so catch you guys later okay, so I am super excited I've been waiting for this box for about a week um, I ordered a pair of tennis shoes from uh, from Nordstrom's I guess that doesn't show the name on just my address <laughs> anyway so I thought I would unbox them with you and if they're ugly well then we'll find out together how come this doesn't want to it's too rubbery hold on let me switch hands there we go all right. Oh, I love them already. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Okay, you guys, I'm a grown ass woman. <laughs> but you know what? I don't care, I love them. Aren't those so pretty? Look at that, it has a sunshine and a happy face on the back of them. Oh my goodness. I love them. Look at this. They'll go with just about anything. And they are so lightweight. I love, 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 love Nike because they fit my foot perfectly. Usually they do, and I'm sure they still will. And um, they have traction on the bottom, so I won't slip. But they make my back feel good, so that's why I always like to try to get Nike. My last pair were turquoise and white. And I wore them until they just about fell apart. But look at this. This is the coolest part of it all. They have different toes. There's a pink. And there's a blue. This one's got um, like a mustard yellow. This got uh, green. And then the green, of course, matches the green over here. The mustard matches the mustard there. Aren't they the freaking cutest things ever? Oh my gosh. And look at when I walk, people are going to see happy faces. <laughs> I love it. And even back here, they have the alternate colors. Oh my goodness. I love it. I'm so happy. Okay, so I got this. I saw these on... Um, on the list that was they were coming out and they hadn't come out yet and I was praying that I would get them gifted <laughs> but they didn't get gifted so I went ahead and bought them because I love them I love anything that will go with you know multiple things you know and that are Nike because I've worn Nike like forever but and also right here this is cloth um, and it says that they, I'm going to spray them down with my leather, my le leather proof, it's leather proof, cloth proof, rain proof stuff. Um, so they can be, you know, they don't want to get icky and ruined. But, um, the instructions said that you can throw these in the wash easily and they come right out. Perfect. So, because they're all, this is all cloth. All of it like this right here I don't know if you can see the let me see if you can see, yeah you can see kind of the texture 
It's kind of like a canvas type thing. Oh, I just think they're so cute. And I know that they're kind of odd looking and they're probably for a 12 year old little girl, but I can picture a pair of um, jeans and a any kind of sweater. I mean, any I have all these colors of sweater, but you can have a white sweater, a cream sweater, a green, blue, whatever, and it will go perfectly. So it's very, very, um, you know, multitasking shoe. So anyway, yay, I can't wait to put them on. I think I'm gonna wear them to bed tonight. What do you guys think? <laughs> all right, there's, I'm gonna call these my happy shoes. Yep, these are my happy shoes. And even though at first I saw this on the back, you know, the smiley faces on the back, I thought, that's kind of weird. But then I started thinking, these are happy shoes. They're bright, they're cheery, they're, they're totally me. And I always like something a little quirky. I don't like anything too, you know, mainstream. Um, I always have to have something like my sister. Oh my gosh. She's gonna make so much fun out of these shoes <laughs> She's gonna just totally make fun of me and she's gonna be like are you kidding me Jody? Are you kidding me? And I but yep, I don't care. I'm gonna wear them and wear them with pride <laughs> Good morning everybody. It is a beautiful Sunday morning and I am home getting ready for our party tonight. I, I really wanted to go to church, but I've been having this issue. And for any of you out there that have gone through chemotherapy, cancer treatments, I wanna know if you guys have experienced this. Um, ever since my first round of chemotherapy years ago, I have had severe insomnia. It comes and goes, you know, and I've been taking the premium Jane gummies, CBD gummies, it's a 1500 milligram bottle, and that's been working for about six months, I would say, but all of a sudden, boom, it just stopped working. I mean, nothing works. I've taken Remeron which is a prescription sleeping pill. And it's one of the lightweight ones, but um, it doesn't do anything, except for make me feel sluggish, which is even worse than just being tired. So anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, what I can do, and if you've suffered the same thing, please let me know in the comments, because I am getting a little bit frustrated and it's not good for the aging process. <laughs> and you know how vain I am. You can just read it in the comments. There's someone gonna tell you about it. <laughs> I am vain. I love looking pretty. I don't care. I love beauty. I love beautiful houses. I like beautiful clothes. I like beautiful paintings. I love beautiful children. You know, God created all of this beauty around us. I'm not saying that I'm beautiful, but I'm saying there's beauty in the world and I appreciate it. So, and I try to be the best that I can be and I cannot do that with insomnia. I'm just saying, <laughs> I didn't even feel like doing my hair today. I just put it back in a bun and said the heck with it for the like fifth day in a row. <laughs> and my family's gonna say, are you feeling okay? You didn't do your hair. <laughs> Cause they, you know, they know my tricks, right? All right, so anyway, um, I have one more toilet to kind of go over because I missed it yesterday and uh, dishes to unload and then the babies will be here any minute so um, yeah that's where we're at today now um, yeah so I'll try to get some clips and snips and stuff of the party oh also it's 50% rain today, but right now it is, I'll see if I can turn you around. It is nice and sunshiny out. We had to take all of our um, cushions, we vacuumed them down, washed them all down because they got stuck in the storm and they're, you know, waterproof and all that, but they were getting pretty bad. So we vacuumed, dusted, 
wiped and then we set them up to dry and then it rained again. <laughs> it's like, of course it did. It's like if you wash your car, you know it's gonna rain, right? Of course it is. Uh, Murphy's Law, I don't know what, I don't remember what Murphy's Law is, but people say it. If anybody knows what Murphy's Law is, drop it in the comments. I'd like to know. All right, so, uh, I look tragic today. I don't, maybe I don't look tragic, but I feel tragic. <laughs> I feel like my face looks tragic today, but I did the new eyelashes, the little mink eyelashes, the short ones, and can you just say, aren't those amazing? They're short and they're, they're short and they're curly, exactly the way I wanted them. So, great, and they'll probably be on for three to four days, which is amazing. Get up, wash your face, throw some sunscreen on, put some bronzer, do your eyebrows, lipstick, out the door we go. That's my kind of day. <laughs> Not always, but with no sleep, yeah. <laughs> That's my kind of day. All right. Um, also, I'm not really sure about, I wish you guys were here or somebody was here so you could tell me before I do these things whether I should wear this or not. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you around and I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day. I just don't, I just wanna be comfortable because I don't know, when you're tired, I just didn't want, I didn't have the mind energy to like choose an outfit, I just didn't. I was just like looking at all my pretty clothes and I'm like, I'll just wear this. <laughs> so, and it's a house dress, but I am in the house, so there you go. Alrighty, I am going to um, turn you guys around. Alrighty, so here is the outfit of the day. It is kind of a bohemian, you know, um, kind of that crinkle, crinkly material. And it's really lightweight and super, super cool. And it's got the cute, let me see if I can show you. It's got the cute um, kind of tribal Indian um, I don't know, embroidery, and it's in black. I always think it's blue, but it's actually black. And yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of it. Very nice. And one thing I like about it, it hangs longer in the back. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see. I need to tippy toe. <laughs> it hangs longer in the back than it does in the front. So it's just, I don't know, it just has, I don't know, I like it. And it moves and flows really nice. So anyway, and then black H&M um, sandals that I have been living in. They, I think they're as comfortable as my Birkenstocks, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. They rub a little bit more than my, on the pinky if you do a lot of walking and my Birkenstocks don't do that. But for around the house and for things like this, they work perfectly. So anyway, this is my outfit of the day. I wish I could, I don't want to stand on that because my husband might kill me. <laughs> but anyway, it looks, when you see the shoes with it, it seems like it's more of an outfit instead of just a plain old dress. Yeah, all right, well, don't tell me what you think because it'll be too late because I've already got it on. See you guys later. Hi to everybody, huh? Say hi, you little finger. Okay. All right, so, stop it. So anyway, my mom came tonight to the party. It was a success, it was great. Had a lot of loving and a lot of babies. We had what, eight, nine, 10, 11. <laughs> and we had 11 babies here, unbelievable. Anyway, um, it went really good. Anyway, my mom has beautiful jewelry. And she left this all to me. She's, I can't, oh, this jewelry box is awesome. I love it. Anyway, this was my grandma's jewelry box and then my mommy's jewelry box. And she left it to me and she said I could have anything I wanted out of here. So I am going to do this tomorrow because I'm way too tired to do it tonight. Hello guys, okay, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I had an amazing week, but um, yeah, I just, I am, today I am totally, completely flat. 
I have um, been down all day. Today is Monday. And the lights just went down. Hold on, let me see if I can get them back up so I don't look so orange for ya. Come on. All right. All right, that's better. Anyway, so as you know, we had a very busy week. Everything was really cool. But again, um, my mind wants to do all these things because I'm feeling so good in comparison to the way I was feeling, of course. But now reality is hitting and my body is saying, what the heck? <laughs> Slow it down, Joe. So uh, that's what I did today. I called off work and I did editing. I did a little admin from bed, stayed off my feet and um, watch some Waltons. <laughs> I know you younger, you younger kids don't know what the Waltons are, but when I was little, it was the, pretty much the only show my parents would let us watch. But it's about a family uh, with seven kids that lived through the uh, Depression era. And if you don't know what that is, then look it up because you should know exactly what that is, especially nowadays, since we're headed for another one. <laughs> Uh, hope not. Anyway, so I watched the Waltons and just relax and just had a chill day. So I was going to get up and put makeup on and do my hair. Look, at it's a mess. I haven't even brushed it. <laughs> but you know what? Here at my channel, you get, you get whatever. You get me. You get me with dirty hair. You get me with clean hair. You get me with makeup and hair extensions and a photo shoot. And then you get me in bed with dirty probably dirty pajamas ah, we won't find out we'll just keep them up keep that up there <laughs> and you get all my opinions and if you don't like them I'm so sorry but they are my opinions um, yeah this is what you get so I thank you so much for following me and for hitting that subscribe button and joining my journey um, yeah I will catch you guys on Friday. Oh, and Friday we have a special um, guest going to be on in my vlog. Uh, a friend, well, she's a friend now, but I met her um, because she has cancer. She started following me and found out that she lives pretty close to me. And anyway, long story short, became friends and now um, I'm going to interview her about her cancer journey and she is in remission as well but the struggles that come after remission after the war is you know the fighting is done what happens next so stay tuned and tune in for Friday for a very special episode okay you guys this is Jody signing off Whenever you're down